Welcome back. So today's video is going to be the first of my Halloween tutorials for this year and this one is going to be a much requested one here on my channel and I think in general I think everybody wants to learn how to get this look and it's going to be an Audrey Hepburn or Holly Golightly makeup look from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast at Tiffany's is one of my favorite movies. It's kind of one of the only like old movies that I can watch like straight through and not be bored. Like it's a really good movie so if you don't like old movies just give it a chance because I usually don't but it's a really good movie. Audrey Hepburn is so gorgeous and I would love to do any of her makeup looks. Like she is just phenomenal. I love her. And I'm really excited to do this look for you. It's a very simple look and all I would have to say is to do your hair in like a nice high bun with some volume up front and then pin like some kind of weird necklace or brooch thing up here because um, in the movie she has like a tiara thing but I don't have a tiara right now. But yeah, just pin something sparkly into your hair to get the hair look. And then for an outfit, go with a little black Dress. It's easy. It's simple. It's very Audrey Hepburn, very Holly Golightly. So just do a simple little black dress with lots of pearls and rhinestones and lots of bling. So yeah, I think this is a great costume for anybody. Like literally anybody can pull this off and it's a really, really cute costume. So if you're going to a costume party, just want to look cute on Halloween, then I think this is a great costume for that. But yeah, if you're interested in learning how to get Holly Golightly or Audrey Hepburn's look from Breakfast at Tiffany's, then just keep watching. I gotta do something about the way I look. I mean, a girl just can't go to Sing Sing with a green face. <laughs> hey guys, so we're gonna start off with the brows because the brows are kind of a big part of this look. So I'm just first combing through them with a spoolie. I'm just brushing them upwards to get started. And then I'm gonna go in with my Sigma brow pencil in the shade Clean Cut. And I'm basically just gonna use this to kind of outline the shape of my brow. She has very natural kind of full brows well very full brows but they're very very natural so I just wanted to do this to kind of define the shape but lightly like lighter than a wax or like a dip brow kind of product and after each step I'm going back with that spoolie to maintain the like naturalness of the brows and kind of break up the product each step that I go so I'm just using this pencil once again to comb well to comb to go through and kind of define the shape of my brow first and once again going through with that spoolie to break up the product and make it look as natural as possible after each step so then after we get that pencil through there we're gonna go in with our elf brow kit and just take the powder side of that and I'm gonna go in with like an angled brush and just fill in any sparse areas of the brow because once again her brows are very full but very natural so I just want to fill in the sparse areas with a powder because that looks the most natural to me and then once that is done, I'm gonna go in with this Milani clear brow gel and just comb them upwards and set them in place. Combing them upwards is going to make them look a little bit fuller, a little bit bushier and more natural and that's definitely what we want to go for So for a Holly Golightly look. And then I'm going to go in with this NYX concealer on a flat definer brush and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of carve them out very lightly, like not as much as I would usually do because I don't want them to be too crisp but I do want them to be a little bit crisper so I just went in with that concealer to kind of hide any stray hairs around my brow and then I went in with this brush and just diffused it out and blended it all out so it didn't look crazy. And then I'm going to go in with this NYX HD eye primer. We still want an eye primer because if you're going out on Halloween, you're probably going to be out for a while. So I'm going in with this one because it's clear and we don't want to hide any of the veins on our eyelid. We kind of want all of those imperfections that are on our eyelid to stay because back in the day, they didn't really have any eye problems any eye primer so Audrey Hepburn's eyes like you could still f see through to her veins and stuff so I wanted to keep it true to character so now we're gonna go in with the Maybelline the nudes palette we're only gonna be gonna be using this one for shadow today so I'm gonna go in with this um, matte taupe shade in the palette on E25 brush from Sigma and we're basically just gonna define our crease with this because Audrey Hepburn has very very deep set eyes so she's got a very pronounced crease but I do not and I don't think a lot of other people do so we want to kind of 
define the crease and kind of make that deep set eye that Audrey Hepburn naturally has. So we're just gonna go in softly and kind of shade in a crease area and like make our eyes look a little bit more deep set. So we're just gonna go in and blend this into the crease and we're using this light taupe shade because she has she had a lot of cool tones on her eyes. Well, from what I saw, she didn't have much eyeshadow, but all of it was definitely cool tone from what she did have. So I'm just going back and blending back and forth and then I'm gonna take this other kind of lighter taupe shade and get it on that same brush with the belly of the brush and I'm just gonna press that onto the lid. She had a very kind of wash of like a hazy taupe gray shade on the lower part of her lid. So that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to kind of do like a wash of color on the lower part of the lid. So that's why I'm taking this softer blending brush. Now I'm gonna go in with this deeper brown color on a small tapered brush and I'm gonna once again kind of define that socket line. And with this brush, it's really gonna make a more tapered and more detailed line in the socket. So you wanna just run it back and forth and then take the E25 to blend it out a little bit further, but you definitely wanna define it a little bit. And now for the showstopper of the eye, we're gonna take this e.l.f. cream liner and we're gonna do a nice Audrey Hepburn-esque um, winged liner and all I can say for this is to just take your time as you can see I'm doing very small slow strokes I didn't speed this up because I wanted you guys to see exactly how I did it so I'm doing small slow strokes right across the lid and just going step by step just a little bit here and there because you don't want it to be too thick at at first, Audrey Hepburn's liner isn't really thick, it's just the wing that really makes it so defining. So once I get about three quarters of the way in, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to shape out my wing. So I basically bring it straight up. You don't want it to go out, you kinda wanna just bring it straight up to that um, outer edge of the brow. And then once that shape is filled in, you're kinda gonna drag your brush back and connect it to the wing or the line that we made on our eyelid. And then you're gonna go back and fill it all in and take your time with this. The slower you do it, the more precise you do it, the easier it's gonna be and the cleaner it's gonna be. So definitely take your time, take a brush like this one, the EO5. It's a great brush for eyeliner. I definitely recommend it. I have it linked down below for you guys. And now that our eyeliner is on, I'm going to take this Q-tip and go right where our two eyelids meet, like right in that corner, and kind of clean up that area because you want to make sure your eyes are kind of very disconnected. The top of your eyelid should not merge into the bottom. You want it to keep it very like disconnected. So now I'm going to take my Jordana Best Volume Extreme Mascara and just coat my lashes for some falsies. I just recently purchased this mascara and I absolutely love it. Like I think maybe even more than the Best Lash Extreme. Ugh, I don't know if I just said that, but I really do like it. So just coat your lashes and then we're going to pop on these um, Miss Adoro number 43 lashes with some Kiss um, Lash Adhesive. I chose these because they kind of flare out at the end and I thought that would really go well for this look. Audrey Hepburn definitely had false lashes in this movie. Her lashes were so big and full and beautiful. So I definitely wanted to recreate that with these kind of flirty flared lashes. Now we're going to start on the face. I'm going to take this L'Oreal Re Revitalift Miracle Blur and I'm I'm just going to press this into my skin as my primer. I'm trying to keep all of the products in this video drugstore because we don't want to spend a lot of money for a Halloween makeup tutorial. So I'm just going to press that in, in to fill in any pores and kind of perfect the skin before foundation. So I'm just going over that with my fingers. And then for foundation, I'm going to take the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. But once again, I tried to keep it drugstore, so this is another drugstore alternative, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. But I went with the Chanel because it really gives a beautiful kind of matte, velvety finish. And I'm putting that on with my F80 Flat Top Kabuki from Sigma. And I did like two layers of this because it's not the best coverage, but I wanted a nice, flawless, matte, velvet finish. Because back in the day, everybody had matte skin, especially Audrey Hepburn. She had the most beautiful kind of velvety looking skin. So I wanted to keep everything nice and matte which is why I chose this foundation. So you don't have to spend this much money on a Chanel foundation, but you should keep it matte. And then once it was on, I went back with my Beauty Blender and kind of just went over the face with it just to kind of blur any streaks or just kind of perfect the look. And now I'm gonna take my Fit Me Concealer in the shade sand and I'm just going to go over any blemishes because once again we want our face our skin to be as perfected as possible so I'm just going over any blemishes to make sure that our skin is as flawless as possible and you definitely want to do this with a concealer that matches your skin tone and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just pat all of that out and blend it into the skin because I just love the beauty blender for concealer it's my favorite 
um, tool for concealer. So I'm just patting that into my skin to make sure everything is nice and flawless. And then for under the eyes, I'm gonna take my bleh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer, and I'm just gonna put that under my eye. She didn't really have any highlight under there, but this is just like one of my favorite under eye concealers. So I went down there with that to hide my dark circles and conceal all of that junk under there. And then I'm gonna blend it all out with my Beauty Blender once again, because this is the best tool for concealer ever. So I'm just patting, patting, patting that into the skin and making sure it's all nice and seamless. And then once that is on, we're gonna take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and we're actually gonna put it on with a powder puff because I don't know, I just discovered this kind of technique but if you press it in with this powder puff, it gives you the most kind of airbrushed velvety. You'd think it would make you look cakey, but it really just looks so velvety and beautiful. Like I absolutely love it. I never want to use a powder brush again because this just makes it so amazing. And you want to make sure you're patting it into the skin, not wiping it over. You want to press it into the skin so that you don't lose any of your coverage and you just kind of lock and set everything right into place. This powder puff is amazing. I'm like so in love with this technique. And now we're going to take Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. I wanted to take a drugstore bronzer, but I couldn't find any that were cool tone, and we don't want to bronze the skin whatsoever. I just wanted to chisel out my cheekbones a little more because Audrey Hepburn has a very slim face, so I kind of just wanted to slim down my face, which is why I'm taking it with this brush that the Hoola Bronzer came with, because it's kind of like a little chisel brush, so I just really wanted to chisel out my cheekbones, and so that's what we're doing. We don't want to bronze whatsoever because she definitely didn't have bronzer on, but now we're going to take this um, Wet n Wild blush in the shade Heather Silk on an F40 brush, and we're just going to pop this on to the cheeks it's a really beautiful like standard pink rosy color and that's exactly what you have on basically the whole movie just a nice standard rosy cheek color and you want to take that pretty high up on the cheeks and blend it way in like it's very centered on the apples of the cheeks so you want to put it on the apples and then blend it back now we're going to go back to the eyes with this NYX wonder pencil and we're basically just going to line the waterline with it this is very um I don't know I Ugh, I don't know the word for it. I guess like iconic of Audrey Hepburn to put like a lighter liner on her waterline. It was very just of the time. In that time, like everybody did this. So I'm just lining my waterline with that. And then I'm going to take that taupe shade again. But this time I'm going to take it on a pencil brush. And I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line. And really make sure you blend this out. Because it's not really like a liner whatsoever. It's just kind of like a smoky haze under the eyes. It really defines your eyes very softly and nicely. And it just looks really, really beautiful. So once you blend that out, you're just going to go in with some mascara on the lower lashes just to finish up the whole eye. Definitely want some mascara down here to once again define the eyes. And now I'm going to finish up with the lips. I'm first going to take this NYX lip liner in the shade Rose, and I'm just going to line my entire lip with it and fill in the whole lip. Audrey Hepburn in this movie had a very beautiful kind of pinky coral matte lip. So we're first going to fill in our whole lip with this pencil to kind of make a pinky base for the lipstick that we're going to go in with. So you want to fill in the whole lip so that it kind of makes a lip combo with this Wet n Wild Mega Last Just Peachy Lipstick. And we're basically just going to pat this into the lip. You don't want, really want to swipe it over, you just want to press it and pat it in because it's, I don't know, not as opaque and it just kind of really makes it last a lot longer on the lip when you just press it in. So yeah, you're just going to press this, be, maybe do a few little layers and, until you get the pigmentation that you want. And that's basically it for the look guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already and leave me comments down below letting me know what you thought and let me, letting me know what other Audrey Hepburn looks you might want me to see. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.